Good morning. My name is Jessica and I'm on the road to losing 30 pounds. Uh, today is March 21st and I wanted to uh, actually have a discussion about um, how I got to starting calorie counter and calorie counting and that why that was um, good for me. Uh, at the beginning of my journey, I decided to do keto. Uh, it didn't work for me. I, I'm not uh, condoning people that do go on it. Uh, it's just because I missed bread and there were things that I, that were part of my life that I couldn't take out, like, you know, McDonald's with my kids, things like that. It wasn't, it was not uh, something that was uh, negotiable. But anyway, so I thought um, it, my mental health also actually, sorry, my mental health also was affected. So I decided to do something else. But this time, because before I used to limit my, my, my calories, um, I decided to do something that was counterproductive or counterintuitive for me was that I actually just recorded how much I, I had regularly. So it was around 3,000, maybe 3,500 on average. Um, and I decided to go just above that, about 100 to 200 calories above that. And then of course I went to the gym because the gym n never disappointed in that, in that way that it actually always helped me, specifically my 20s, that's how I lost weight the first time. So now having said that, it it doesn't help very much I just it, it not in your 40s or f I am visiting 50 very soon <laughs> um so um yeah um so then I I started to uh calorie count on a non-judgment thing uh, I never weighed myself though uh, but I did reduce, like I said before. Never waited myself because that was a trigger. Um, but then uh, maybe every three months I would, and then I would see that there would be weight loss. Not a lot, 10 pounds, three months, or uh, 15 pounds in three months. The first two years was the, the biggest uh, losses. But um, anyway, um, have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be here. <laughs>